What's up everybody? Heartless back here with another video for you guys. Uh, some of you guys do, some of you don't like my shopping vlogs, and I haven't made one in a while, and you know, I was like, feeling kind of desperate, and I was like, you know what, I need to do another shopping vlog. So I made one for you guys. Went to a local Barnes & Nobles, was just trying to chase down Spy Family, uh, Volume 8, and Summertime Rendering, Volume 6. Found a food truck, and I found a plethora of other I didn't need. But, it doesn't matter because you guys get to see it all. Hopefully you guys enjoy my shopping videos. Gotten it so much better. You can have the music. I'll probably do a voice dub. It's not shaky. Anyways, I'm going to show up in transition. Transition magic. All right, guys. So today we're going mega shopping. Uh, I figured I'd show you some of the stuff I picked up and just my thoughts and opinions. Like the 100 Girlfriends who really, really, really love you is pretty good. Uh, I didn't do Alice in Borderland. Akira is amazing. Uh, it's Echo Titan. It's just it's not my thing. Assassination Classroom. Didn't really have a Watch the anime. It was, it was, it was mid. Yeah, it was mid as, f but whatever. Uh, Attack on Titan again. I bought some from Five Below and ate them on two different streams. Ripped them apart and destroyed them. It's my money. I can do what I want. Monogatari series is really good. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We got B Stars. Uh, Black Clover. Never read it. Never touched it. Couldn't even tell you what it's about. I do like me some Big Hero Six. Oh yeah. Uh, Berserk's one of my favorite. But well, didn't have the Omnis for it, I need 11. Uh, I just picked up Beastars 20. Uh, like I said, Black Clover, no idea. I do need Black Lagoon number 9. Uh, black or White, I still need volume 4. Blade of the Immortal is pretty good, I have the whole set. Uh, I jumped up on the tracks. Right here I was thinking about getting the Breaker volume 3, but then I was like, at the end I was like, Man, I got a lot of Magna here, is it even worth it? I have Blue Period 1 through 4. Uh, Blue Lock, I will not be touching. I heard it is like Battle Royal or Squid Games, but I don't do sports. Manga. I uh, can't stop cursing you. I need to still get volume 3. Sells at work seems kind of interesting, but I've never checked it out. I don't even know what that blurb's for. Yeah, that, no idea. Maybe Boys on. Now, Chain Soldier. This, this was good. I read this uh, while waiting in line for Boston Comic Con. It is, uh, it's pretty spicy. Probably gonna get worse. Alright, we got Chainsaw Man. Later on this month, it is coming out as an anime. You need to check it out. Cheeky Brat. Meh. Chobits. Old school classic. I'd say it's more of a cyberpunk than a Jose. I think it was Rick Miller and right up there. Uh, Dick Fight Island. Show up to Dick Fight Island. All my boys read it. Yeah. Uh, Dark. Uh, Villainous. Uh, too fast. Never mind. Die Dark 4. I was gonna get it, and I was like, oh, I already bought that earlier in the week, so. Show up to Q Shot. Yeah. Crazy Food Truck is one of the three manga that I was going to pick up, and I did. And all combatants will be dispensed, that's a pretty good series, Death Note's good, Demon Slayer, I mean, look at Michael Jackson on the cover. I would have wrote Michael Jackson's in this. Check it out. Devil's Ecstasy is pretty good, I read both volumes, even got my aunt to read it, she's like 67, it's pretty funny. Got some more Dragon Ball, I have Dragon Ball Super, I just haven't read it all. Uh, Dora Hidora it is amazing, it's also by Kiwashada. Don't toy with me, Nagatoro. I think I stopped at volume 9. I haven't read it though. Go figure. Dr. Stone, I don't care about. Dungeon Builder seems kind of interesting. Uh, Eden Zero didn't bother with. Uh, what else we got? Fire Force. I skip a whole section. Alright, so we got Fruits Basket. I have one and two. I'm struggling to actually get there, but I will read it. Then we have, oh, here's a little synopsis by Alex. Uh, Fryrin, it's one of my favorites. You should definitely check it out. It's cute, it's wholesome. It's not normally what I read, but it's pretty good. Uh, Fist of the North Star, oh, six. Uh, Gal Gohan, kinda sweet. Uh, Ghost River Girl I liked. Now, The Game Between Suits, this is a steamship title. I will eventually do three different steamship titles for reviews. Uh, Ghostly Things, I was thinking about getting it, I was like, nah, I don't know, sounds kinda cheesy. Gigant, oh yeah, oh, volume 8 was a bombshell, we got Helsing, Happy News is good, Goyo, uh, The Great J, I think I have volume 3, Grand Blue Dreaming, I've read two of them, Goblin Slayer, I've read it all, it's great, Quake Near 11, I have it, I will never read Haiku, uh, Happy Sugar Land is pretty good, House Paradise is amazing, the anime is coming out, so you guys should probably pick it up and be one of the cool kids before it comes out, you know, big. I read that before, it was an anime. Uh, what else we gonna go on? Uh, In the Land of Lee Dale. That was pretty cool. I enjoyed it. 
I am Hero. I'm still missing volume 11, I think. I can't believe I slept with you. I have the first volume. How to build a dungeon and not summon a demon lord. That was pretty good. It's very spicy. Cultured and it's actually really good. Um, yes, okay. All right, what else we got going on? We got some of the best boys love ever. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Then we have Jujutsu Kaisen. I am up to date with all the volumes, but I have not read them all. I think I've read up to volume five. Uh, I almost picked up uh, Johanna the Louvre, but yeah, I'm not going to do that. Maybe at some other point. Heard Kaji's pretty decent. Uh, Kaji number eight, I have up to volume three. Uh, I think I was just talking about oh, whatever. Killing stalking. Holy <laughs> That was some crazy <laughs> I liked it. Uh, what else we got? Cohen can't communicate. I ended up picking up volume 20, but I got that Walmart. Kind of soup was good. Calhoun, that, that, the last page was pretty good. Had me hooked, I gotta read the next one. Lone Wolf from Cub. A couple of little baby Tonkabons from like the 90s. Levis, I hated it. It was not a good series. I've heard Zelda's pretty decent. I need to try it. Lazy Dungeon Master. I was like, mm, what is this? What is this? It just popped out to me. It spoke to me. I needed it in my life. All right, so what else we got going on today? Uh, I have Mao up to volume five. Mars Red's always a good read. I mash up constantly, but I didn't like it. My dress up down is so cute. I am volume 6. I was checking out Mochuko Tensai to see if I actually had it. I had that volume, so I need 15. Her Bob Psycho is pretty good. Uh, what else we got? My hero. I'm burnt out. I could read X Men or Spider Man or something. I'm just burnt out on, like, you know, superhero trash. What else? Uh, Norgami. I think I'm not. I don't have volume 24 in my collection, so I need to find it. But I forgot all about it. Her Down is pretty good. I haven't checked that out. Uh, we got one mid piece. Yeah, never gonna read it. Not a pirate fan. Heard orange is good. Didn't even read the first Orient uh, or Karataka. I want, but I can't find volume one. Uh, Parasite's really good. I want to get into Overlord, but I can't. Peach Boy Riverside, always a good time. A little blurb about Persona 5. Good at Atlas. Uh, what else we got going on? Sound of Voice. Still trying it. Promise Neverland. Kind of fell off. Madoka Magic Girls, I definitely, definitely want to check out. We got some Pokemans. Yeah, I just... I love Pokemon, but I'm not going to read the manga. Plus size elf. Please put them on. Takomi sounds good. Platinum Men. Oh, quintessential quintuplets. I love that. One of the best rom coms. Not the best, but still pretty good. Free Monster. ReZero. Rent a Girlfriend. You know, those are all good titles. Reincarnate a Sword. It's Isekai. It's for me. Uh, a little blurb about The Promised Neverland. Uh, what we got? Sakamoto Days is really, really good. I enjoyed that. I read them all. I have Rose and Blood up to volume three. I haven't checked it out yet. Rooster Fire. That was pretty good. Um, Rising Shield Hero. Some Perilous is good. Uh, Surf at the End. I have up to 24. No one talks about it. It's a good series. Seven Deadly Sins. <laughs> the f care. I'm not going to read that trash. Same thing with Shaman King. Slasher Mains. I forgot all about that. I think there's six volumes up right now. Sound of Voice I do want to do at some point. Uh, what else we got? Shaman King. Meh. So when I'm a spider, I have a couple somewhere. Soul Leveling is pretty good. Uh, volume 5 just came out. I haven't checked it out. Splatoon. I'm just not really into Splatoon. So. Spy Clive. Yeah. This is one of the other reasons I went for Spy Family Volume 8. You can't, you can't hate it. It's such a good series. It's coming back out later this month. Sailor Moon, I may end up picking up at some point. Uh, the time we got reincarnated as a slime, I remember vaguely watching it drunk. It was pretty good. Oh my god, this is my favorite rom-com. Sweat and Soap. If you're not reading it, you're doing life wrong. And the other reason why I came to this Barnes & Noble, Summertime Rendering Volume 6. This was the hardest to find out of all the books. And now I have them all. So I could die happy. All right, the high, oh, I forgot. I also picked up those not so sweet boys. I grabbed four through seven, but I checked out my Instagram and realized I already have volume four. I hate buying things I already own. There's just no real point. Uh, also, I got to talk about Time Stop Hero. It is amazing. I mention it all the time. Kid freezes time with his controller. He likes to uh, diddle the women and strip them naked. And it's a, it's a cute series. It's not super lewd, but it's pretty good. 
Pinocchio Coon, I haven't finished. Uh, what else we got? Syrup. Tokyo Revengers, I want to. I like the anime, but ugh, I heard it fell off, so I didn't bother. Tokyo Ghoul RE. It's pretty good. Uh, what's he say? Yeah, Kanaki. Yeah. Kanaki likes to eat people. Eh, that's kind of close, but I like how there's no regular Tokyo Ghoul. Undead Unlock, I stopped reading. I just I don't have time for it, but it's pretty good. Vinland Saga is so goddamn good. We have listen to me, I want to try at some point, but I need volume one. Way of the House Husband, I stopped around five or six, but it's cool. Yakuza Reincarnate was pretty good. Wadakoi is still cute. Worlds in Harem, checking it out. I need volume 12. It's a great series if you're very cultured. Uh, what else we got? Witch Hat Alir. Oh, volume nine came out. I have up to volume seven or eight. Can't recall. What am I looking at? Oh, welcome back, Alice. I'm on the fence if I like it or don't. It's, it's kind of different. Uh, how do I explain it? Dude ends up dressing up like a woman, but he's not a woman. And he's not gay. I don't know. Zom 100 just fell off hard for me and couldn't do it. There's a new copy of Soul Leveling. This is their sad little display of anime and manga merchandise. Like, guess it's kind of cool, but this one was kind of lackluster. But down here, they have Berserk Volume 11. Probably find it online cheaper. Well, if you guys really liked that video, do me a favor and give me a thumbs up to let me know you really liked it. I appreciate it. And it just really helps the channel and helps me know you guys want to see more of this content. It's useless or not. Hey, give it a thumbs down. I don't give a Just let me know. Also, do me a favor. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And one last thing, hit that bell notification icon. Yeah, I know it's paying the balls every time I ask, but how else are you going to know when I post a new video? I mean, come on. Seriously. Uh, let's see what else. Also, trying to get to uh, the monetization. I got like 133 subs right now, but I'm still struggling just a little bit. I need about 1,200 hours. So if you guys could just, you know, watch the out of my videos and I got a playlist I'll put it right here it's the kitchen sink it's got everything literally everything do me a favor watch it if you haven't watched all my videos please I beg you anyways let's get into what I bought today so I was pointing out things here and there that I liked while I was shopping but I really wanted the last volume of summertime rendering volume six I enjoyed one through three I read some of four but I was trying to track them all down before because I like binging them I found four, I think, during the week. Uh, I found five on Friday, and this last one was volume six. So here's Summertime Rendering, volume six. And yeah, it, so far it's a great horror psychological mystery where the guy gets isekai and he goes a little bit further in time, and then he goes a little back. It, It's cool. I like it, and I like the shadow monsters, and it's a cool concept. It's different. So in some of my other videos, I picked this up when it first started coming out, Those Not-So-Sweet Boys. The idea just sounded really wholesome, cute, and a little bit fun. So I picked up one through four. Not going to bull****. I haven't read them yet. But my friend Laura was like, hey, do you want to do a group buddy read? And I was like, I want to do a group buddy read, but not so sweet boys. I mean, how can I not want to try another rom-com slash slice of life? I want to say it's probably a so shoujo or a jose. But I don't really read that, so I'm not going to label it because I don't want to mislabel it and get people to get mad at me. I'm not a misogynist, don't judge me. But anyways, here's the Not So Sweet Boys Volume 5. And like I said, the cover art's not too bad. You can tell it's going to be like a rom-com slice of life. It just looks pretty cool. Here's Volume 6. And yeah, just check it out. Uh, we will be doing a buddy read. I'm assuming it's probably going to be on her channel. But uh, I kind of want to do buddy reads if anybody else does. Like, I'll create a poll of like some of the different books that I want to read that I haven't because, you know, I got like 12, 1300 manga. I like to read with someone else just besides myself. Uh, then we got the Not So Sweet Boys of Volume 7. Uh, this is up to date. I think this just came out maybe a couple weeks ago. So, yeah, Not So Sweet Boys. Check it out. And I think my first buddy read I want to do is uh, Free Run. It, it was a great series, but. I want to share with other people. I haven't done review. I'm trying to get better on reviews. I've got two scripts I've written. Got my end of the month haul. So yeah, stick around for that good. <laughs> as kids say, it's gonna be <laughs> lit. All right. Then we have B Stars Volume Twenty. I don't even know if this is the last one, but I've just been picking off as they come out. So that's the front cover. That's the back cover. By now, you know what B Stars is. If you don't, <laughs> out of here. You should know. Oh, one of my most favorite guilty pleasures, Spy Family Volume Eight. I had to pick this up. I seen other people get it early, and not gonna lie, it pissed me the off. 
I was jealous they got it before me because I like being that guy and getting stuff before people. Not that I'm going to read it or do a review because I suck like that, but yeah. I love this series. It's so good. If you haven't checked it out, check out the anime. Uh, second part of the first season is coming out uh, later on this month for October. And it's just cute, wholesome, just with a little action, a little slice of life. Mm, I just, I love this series. So good. Alright, then we got Crazy Food Truck Volume 2. I really dug Volume 1. I did the quick little synopsis in one of my monthly haul videos. But sadly, I found out this is only three volumes. But still, for like a mini series like this, that's pretty cool. Alright, so at the end of this, I was at Barnes & Nobles. I saw this, I wasn't going to spend the money. Then I found this at Walmart. It was, uh, I think, like 7 or eight ninety nine. This is Coming Can't Communicate, Volume 20. And I never try to pay full retail price for anything. I still haven't read Comey. Everyone says it's cute. I'm going to wait until it's done. But I've been picking them up as they came out. So, see where it goes. And finally, it wouldn't be a heartless shopping spree if I didn't pick up some random title that nobody knows about. And it sounded cool to me, and no one else would probably like it, but I had to pick it up. Picked up Lazy Dungeon Master Volume 1. I saw the name of it, and I was like, this sounds kind of cool. Could be an isekai, could be like an RPG-style thing, or an action series. So I picked it up. No idea what it is, sight and sound. I read the blurb in the back, and I'll share it with you. And it sounds like it's going to be a comedy, so hopefully it's like in that vein of Konosuba, or all combatants will be dispensed. I don't know. Anyways, I'll show up and read you the back. It says, only wake me if the dungeon is on fire. Masuda Kima just wants to sleep. Too bad for him. He's been pulled from his comfy sheets in a fantasy dungeon. We've all been there. That sucks. I mean, I like my sleep. I run on four hours of sleep. I'll go in the dungeon, slay that dragon, and get that pussy. Yeah. It says, from his comfy sheets in the fantasy dungeon that he's charged to protect. Failing to do so will cost him his life. His only guide on what to do is the personification of the dungeon core. Roku. Rokoku? Rokoku. Okay, it's Rokoku. But she's a moron who can't even figure out how to get rid of the group of bandits. If Kima ever wants to get some sweet dreams again, he'll have to do the planning himself. And it's from Seven Seas. Seven Seas usually puts out pretty killer <laughs> so it's getting a, it's getting a fan service -y action yet. Cool as a robot. It's a little mech. Uh, nah, it just looks like cute and wholesome. Cool. I did cute and wholesome. And it's 15 plus, so that means it's probably a little edgy, but not super edgy. So that's it, guys. Uh, thank you again. Appreciate it. More content coming, you know. Because once I hit that three-week mark, i got to make something for you guys. Because if not, I fall the So, appreciate it, guys. Oh, yeah, I'm also dressed up like an adult. Sometimes I like looking professional. So thanks, guys. I appreciate you. Oh, yeah. I got a JoJo shirt on. This is my Diamond is Unbreakable t-shirt that I got at Five Below. I'm not sponsored by Five Below, but guess what? You can sponsor me. Just send me money. Send me Bitcoin. <laughs> Just support me, goddammit, unlike my family. Bye.